will show you how to make this a DIY made by C Sharp. Okay. So if you haven't introduced like C Sharp, C Sharp itself was a programming language, and I will show you how to you know make a simple GUI. I mean a GUI for beginners on C Sharp. So open your Visual Studio. name it whatever you want but make sure you don't name like the same project like for example if I name like hello world like hello world you don't repeat it so it will cause an error so Make sure you make your own icon. Like Visual Studio doesn't provide you with, uh, I maybe Visual Studio provides you with icons. Yeah, but if you want like go more professional, like you have to like you know make your own icon. Like you can use MS Paint, convert it with an online converter. Okay, so we have our icon. You know it's crap, but whatever so we're going to change our background shall we okay, so design name uh, on that. so appearance always go to the appearance tab black there we go and okay so we have like if you press f5 okay the function keys or press So uh, yeah, so um, sorry about that interruption. I have to deal with the neighbors now. So okay, so we have a window, but basically it have nothing. So okay, so go to the toolbox section. Okay, open. So if you don't have a toolbox, so that's okay. There is a toolbox section. Okay, so there is this.
picture doesn't go as huge or okay? case like big and small. So for this tutorial I'm going to use and don't laugh please. So you can like make Papa okay, so I will show you like message so Also add image to your button which is pretty cool 
like need additional stuff like see but it doesn't always work out because if you have image that like really big this is what you get now okay so okay now the part messed up Again, don't add space and better off don't add my you know Based on your form name, okay. So form one, like I can. So like this. Okay. So this will like this function here will delete form one and yeah, it will hide it, okay, to avoid like you know. This will hide our first form. Okay. Next. Type. Depend on your form name. Okay. Second page. Now. SP. Okay. Basically, for example, if I want to name it like Hello World, okay, like Hello World without space, like you, like this one is like the variable, okay. So use the previous and the last word, word okay, as P, or I can go to like Hello World, okay. So let's just imagine that this is like the name, okay. Second form, okay. So, second, hello, hello. So, second form, okay. So, here, see. So, don't add like, don't add. So, don't make it bigger, it will cause confusion. So, Okay, so 
you like, for example, if you don't delete this, like if you don't use this, that I Go ahead and click run. Okay, so this is will hap will happen. So yeah, this is will happen. Like you will like get unpleasant result. Yeah, like like it will replicate itself. So that's what this dot hide command really does. Is that it deletes the, it closes like the the first window that was open so yeah like you can add stuff there and to save it oh shit 